Hello my wonderful friends, Megus with you on a beautiful day in Asha. This message is so important and someone right now, it's, it's no mistake that you found this channel. Inside your soul is screaming, I need answers. I need to know God, not just hear about it, not just read about it. I'm tired of searching. I'm exhausted. I need God. I need love. I need peace. I, I need joy in my life. I need to experience it. I'm so tired, Magus. My friend, you've come to the right place. I'm going to make it simple for you. There are two trinities. My friends, there's, there's the Holy Trinity and there's an evil trinity. And many people, they think they're in the Holy Trinity. But in truth, they're in the evil trinity, and that's why their life and their energy and their experience is the way it is. And I'm going to show you how to change it so quickly, my friends, with frequency. Get this. And before I even start this, let me say one thing. There's a saying that all great truths start out as blasphemy. My friends, think of Jesus. He brought the truth and the loving Father, and they screamed, blasphemy, crucify my friend, so if, you, if something in you as I'm saying this rises up and you feel anger and you're thinking stone him, crucify him, that's a red flag that you need to hear this. So you don't have to accept it, but at least please hear it and I'll make it fast. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, energy, matter, frequency. If you can understand this, you're going to understand God, the universe, your role, this world, my friends, energy and matter, same thing, right? E equals MC squared. We know that now. Everything, everything that's form and matter is just energy that by a frequency is vibrating in a form, my friends. So, and then also remember, Jesus said that I and the Father are one. Energy, matter, one. Father, Son, one. We can understand this. It's science. It's religion. It's truth. My friends, now I want you to think about this, and you're going to understand the importance of frequency. It's all about the frequency. It's either the Holy Spirit or the evil spirit. It's going to hold that energy into a form. Jesus told the religious leaders of his time, they were of their father, the devil. Okay, so they thought they were using the name Jehovah, God, and there were some people using the name Jehovah God, and, and they knew the true good God, the Holy Spirit, but there were some that did it. So you need to understand, it's not the names, but it's the frequency behind the name. And I'll tell you what, last night I was doing a study about the early Christian church and the horrendous things that they did, and they were saying that they were doing it in the name of the good God my friends, but I can show you it was the evil spirit. Just like Jesus told his religious leaders, they're of their father, the devil. And it's easy to find out. It's the frequency. And so by the end of this short message, you're going to check your frequency. And then you're going to tune it to the truth. To what we call Asha, the perfect creator's perfect idea. That is perfect love. If you will align yourself with perfect love, my friends, the energy comes into a form and matter. Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one. The true God is divine life and divine love and divine peace and joy. It's all about frequency and energy, my friends. And if you hold the right frequency and energy, you're going to make the right form and matter in your world, in your mind. You're going to experience God good, peace, joy, my friends. So, in my study last night, I was studying the early Christian church and the horrendous things that were going on. My friends, and the thousands and thousands of people that were murdered by them. And you know what they were doing? They, they would see someone that's rich and famous and talented, and they would want what they had, their big homes and their money, and, and they couldn't just go in and take it because that would be morally wrong and it's supposed to be the church. So what they would do is they would arrest them and get them to confess that they made a deal with the devil, sold their soul to the devil to get that talent that they, they had, to get that money. 
but the person wasn't going to do it because it wasn't true. So they would break one arm and say, okay, now sign this confession. They wouldn't do it. They would break the second arm. Then they would break one leg. Then the other leg, my friends, and then they would torture them until finally they just wanted to die. And they would sign it just to die and end the pain and, and suffering. Okay, and then they would call all the town in and they would burn what's left alive, screaming in pain, my friends. And then they could go take their big home and, and their money and they, they just kept going on and finding more and more. The witch hunts, my friends, they did the same thing. To, they had a lust for money and gold and riches, but they had a, a, a lust for women and they'd find the most beautiful women in the town. They're a witch. They would arrest them. They would strip them down naked and make them do different tests. And finally, they'd have to get them to confess. So they'd torture them until they wrote out they made a deal with the devil. And then they'd burn them alive. And I was thinking, what kind of person? I couldn't do that to an animal. Could you take an animal and break one leg at a time? My friends, that reminds me of those kids that rip wings off butterflies or take legs off daddy long legs just to torture and the evil. I could never understand them. And how are they saying that they're the priest of the all good God? My friends, it didn't work out. It's not the right spirit, the right frequency. My friends, and it's not the right God, no matter what name. They can be saying they're doing it for Jesus or for God, but it's not my friends, but it's easy to tell. It's the frequency behind it. And I could go through story after story, my friends. You know the stories. Maybe this message goes all around the world to different religions. There's stories in your books that aren't love, that aren't peace, that aren't good. And you know it, but you were told it's God. And it's not, my friends, because inside of you is a divine spark. Because you come from good spirit. And you're made of good spirit. And if you'll go inside and read that book, listen to that guide, that preacher. You are the temple. God is in you. Quit listening to those out there that just want your money, just want to control you. My friends, inside of you, the Spirit speaks. And He speaks of divine life and love and joy, and goodness, and kindness. My friends, now you take that frequency, and you hold it. No matter what's going on around you, you hold love. People might be hating all around you. I am love. There might be discord all around you. I am peace. I create my atmosphere. I am joy, and you spread joy and love and goodness and the true God, my friends, that frequency. Now you're taking that energy, that's God, good energy, and you're making it in to a form. My friends, Austin 13 says that when our spiritual world becomes straight, our material world comes into order. How do we do that? It says with the original word. What is the original word? It's all good comes from the Creator and no evil comes from him. It's good. But the world religions have changed the meaning of good. My friends, and I'm not going to go through all the different scenarios. You know it. But inside, you know what love is and what truth is. And today, you can join the Holy Trinity, my friends, and you just ask perfect love. That's God's name. Perfect love. Fill me. I receive you. I accept you. Forgive my sin and error. Forgive me for all my past mistakes and failures. And I forgive myself. Fill me perfect love. And perfect love runs out fear and shame and hate and greed and anger and hurts. Perfect love fill me. And now you're holding that frequency, my friends. And and the good God, good spirit, you become one with the loving Father, and you become sons and daughters of the King. So simple, so beautiful.